to the Home Care Breakthrough Solutions Revenue Accelerator Program. Hey guys, welcome to the Home Care Revenue Accelerator Program, where our mission is to help you achieve your next home care revenue breakthrough. So I'm your host, Greg Mazza, and today I wanna to talk about a topic that is, um, I'll say very near and dear to my heart. And it is because I've literally thrown away tens of thousands of dollars in doing this the wrong way. And I've had clients that have done the same. And I've had peers and friends that have done the same thing. And today's episode is about hiring your next sales superstar, right? And if you stay till the end of the program, I am going to give you a link where you can literally download the checklist of the attributes that I look for, that you should be looking for in hiring the right salesperson. So I'm gonna share two very important things with you. One is why do you want to have a salesperson on your team, all right? According to Home Care Pulse, the average home care agency that has a salesperson is doing $650,000 more in revenue than the agencies that don't have a salesperson. So that's a pretty compelling statistic. Secondly, is if you are doing all the sales for your agency, you are limiting yourself from being able to grow and scale your business. To get to a place where you can take your company to the next level and then to the next level, you have to free up your time to do more ownership, strategic type of stuff. Now my company, I did the selling most of the time and then I hired people and I did it wrong and it cost me so much money. And at the end of the day though, I learned from it and it wasn't until probably we hired our fifth or sixth rep where my wife's like, you better get this right. We cannot afford to keep throwing money down the toilet. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the characteristics that are most important when hiring a salesperson, right? Because you can get someone and they're bubbly and you like them and those are all good things. But in order to mitigate your risk when hiring a salesperson, one piece out of five or 10 pieces to look at is their personality traits. So we're gonna go over the top 10 and you're gonna to wanna to measure these and there's ways to do it properly. In fact, part of this checklist is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you my, not only just the checklist, how I measure these on a scale, all right? So the first thing is you want someone who's conscientious, right? We are in a field where we get to help people. You want someone who's aware, who's alert, who cares about people. Those things are pretty important. You want someone who is respectful. If you are, Having your person also do living room visits. Some companies, their rep doesn't do living room visits. Um, they just do out direct sales. Other companies, they do both. Our company, we have them do both. And you're looking for someone who is respectful, especially if they're gonna be in other people's homes, okay? This is an important characteristic. You want someone who has good energy. There's a huge difference when you have someone who's calling on referral sources and they come in there and they're a little stiff and they kind of talk a little monotone and just their energy, like when they enter the room, what happens when they enter the room for you if they have that type of energy? Sort of sucks the energy out of the room, right? People wanna be around people that are energetic. It's just part of our nature. It's part of our nature. So when you are interviewing a salesperson and they come into the room and they're vivacious, that's a good characteristic to have. Sometimes some people, especially if you're not that person, it may seem a little bit annoying, right? You don't want someone who's over the top, like annoying, annoying, but you really want someone who comes in there with good vibe, a good energy. It's something that makes a big difference, right? One of the most important skills in sales, it is one of, if not the most important skills, is someone that knows how to ask questions, all right? So as you're going through the interview process, if you have someone that's not asking good questions, well, guess what? When they're with the referral sources, they're not gonna ask good questions. When they're with the prospect, they're not gonna ask good questions. If they can't ask questions, and they don't ask good questions, I tell you right now, it's not the right person, okay? Bottom line, all right? So the next thing that you wanna look for is someone who shows initiative, all right? Now, I've had people that call me five times because they want a, want a job, and there used to be a part of me that was like, 
it's kind of annoying. Like this is the third time that they've called. I've come to realize and accept like, that's a good skill to have in sales, right? You want someone that can show they can go to this referral source, they can call on a place 10 times, have no one respond to them 10 times, but they're still gonna go back for more. I promise you when it comes to sales, when it comes to being out in the field, that is a very, very important trait because they're, they've got other salespeople that call somewhere three times, they don't get a result, they stop doing it. You want this person to keep going, 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 going. All right. Another characteristic, another good trait is someone who is a good listener, right? So when they're talking to referral sources, they ask the right questions and then they listen, right? Maybe they're repeating back. I heard you say this. I heard you say that. This is so important because the only way we can solve people's problems, and that is the key to getting business and converting business is solving problems, is if we understand what the person is trying to tell us, and then we position our services in a way that we are solving that problem. You can't do that if you're not a good listener. You just can't, bottom line, right? This is important, this is an important trait. You want someone who takes responsibility for their results, right? No one in this world is perfect. You're gonna get people that come into your interview room and they're gonna say, I have these results and I did so awesome, right? I don't care who you are, business often goes in these little mini cycles where you have this amazing, amazing month and then you have a not so good month. But you want someone who takes responsibility for their results and they say, you know what? This month I didn't hit my numbers, but I should have and could have done this and this and this better. If you have someone that starts making excuses like, well, it was my operations team, they didn't do a good job on fulfillment, or um, you know, that month I did this, this, and this, then you have a person who's going to make excuses for their results with you instead of taking ownership of the results. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, this one can somewhat be combined with the one that I talked about that said they show initiative, right? Someone who shows initiative is someone who takes the lead, they call you, uh, maybe they sent you a thank you note, but you also want someone who is persistent. And that is that person that calls you one, two, three, four, five times, all right? Um, Another important trait that I measure, that I look for in a person, is someone who likes to learn and grow, all right? Why is this important? Because you're gonna get people that are in the industry, they get complacent, and they're just in the same spot for long periods of time. This is not someone who wants to learn and grow. You want someone who can do a really good job at sales and then have that desire to grow with your company, maybe become a sales manager one day, maybe take on some other roles and responsibilities. And this is the type of person that you want. You might say, no, I, I like those lifers. That's fine, that's your choice. But the people who wanna to continue to learn and grow, right? Who they read books, they go to seminars, they're continuing to improve their skills and get better at their job. That's someone you want on your team. That is someone you want on your team. And last but not least is you want a person who can close, all right? When you're out calling on referral sources, you want someone who is going to consistently ask for the business, bottom line. And if you have someone who you interview them and they don't say, what do you think? Do you think I'm a good fit for this? Would you consider hiring me? However they ask, if you don't have a person that asks those questions and tries to push it forward, then they're not gonna do that when they're out in the field. They're not gonna do that when they're out in the field. And you need that skill because I'm sorry, this is a sales job. We are trying to grow our business. You want the person that can close. So I hope you got value out of this. If you did, please like this video, like it, comment below, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, and then share it with people that you care about that you think will benefit from this, all right? And don't forget, I promised you, I would offer you this checklist, this guide, so when you go to hire a salesperson, 
you have this guide for free. And I'm gonna share that with you, plus how we measure it. So the link is actually gonna be placed below. So just open up below in the comments and you will see a link. Go to that link, um, put in your email address and we'll make sure to get your copy. So hope you got value out of this video. And uh, if you haven't done so already, guys, I don't know what you're waiting for, join our Facebook group. Go to Facebook and look for the group Home Care Breakthrough Solutions. We've got an amazing group of home care owners and home care managers where they share ideas and best practices on how to grow and scale your home care business. Everyone in the group is thoughtful, they share, they care. So if that's something that you find of value, come join the group. We are the fastest Facebook group specific to growing your home care business. All right, thanks so much. Don't forget to download that link below and we'll see you on the next video.